what Jesus said. The songwriter says, repent of your sins and be baptized. You know, we, we, we've gone in the water. We've been baptized. Some of us just been put in the water. But I stopped by to tell you what the baptism really means. It means you made an inward change. And it is an outward appearance that you made an inward change. Psalm 12, 5 says, we shall not be afraid of the evil the tidings. The heart is fixed trusting in the Lord. I just come by to tell you what Jesus said. You know, we got to, we got to be careful how we let things toss us and, and how the wind blows us and toss us from wherever the wind wants us to blow. You know, I found out that there is a water plant called the giant kelp. All right. It grows in the ocean. The stem of the plant is no larger than a half a dollar. But it has sometimes been known to reach a height of more than 100 feet. All right. All right. The unusual thing about this stem, it never breaks. Storms may come tossing the waters high. Giant ships often push against it. The, the plant will give, but it keeps on growing. All right. That's what we got to do today, Christians. When things come in our lives, we got to continue to grow. Yes, the reason is the roots and the anchor, it anchors down and grip the solid rock in the ocean. We got to grip the solid rock. You know who the solid rock is. The solid rock is Jesus. And there the waters are always calm. It tells me as well, the chitter winds don't work. Right. Right. I don't know about you, but I want to go with the chitter wind. Don't blow. Yeah. 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 The chitter winds yeah. Yeah. don't blow. Yeah. You know, the surface storms cause a little damage, but the life that is rooted in the depths of God can never be destroyed. Oh, I just said something then. The, the depths of God that the, the life that is rooted in the depths of God can never be destroyed. You know, every person experiences obstacles and storms in their life. You see, if you never had no rain in your life, you just wait a while. If you ain't never had no trouble in your life, you just continue to see the S-U-N come up in the morning. Trouble will be on your street. But when trouble comes your way, you just got to hang on in there like the giant kelp. Don't get tossed and tossed with, with, with the mighty wind. Because, you know, we're in hurricane season, as we speak. We're in hurricane season, and, and the hurricane may come our way. But we got to just hold fast and lean to our own, uh, not lean to our own understanding. I know I am right about it. I just stopped by a little while to tell you what Jesus said. You see, there are times when we feel that that we will break us. There are times when we feel that the storm will break us or bend us. And, 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 and that we will never arise to our full potential. But the psalmist says that when we fix our heart, on the Lord, we'll discover the, the, the security that we need. See where your heart is. That's where your children lies. I tell you, this has been a tough week for me, y'all. Oh, y'all pray for me. And you can, you can, you just can imagine that this waking up three o'clock in the morning, every day this morning, because you know you you. you, you you, 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 you know that you, you, you know you're not worthy you know you're not worthy but God still gives you strength and you know what the blessing is in that congregation I say he woke me up oh yes he woke me up and you know we, I used to say that, 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 and blood was still running warm in my brain I still have a small, a small portion of health and strength. But I tell you what, 
says, I, now is the time I, I, I thank him because when I put my foot on the ground and every now and then I get a little ache in my back. I get a little ache in my feet, but it lets me know that the blood is still running warm. It's still running warm in the vein. And I got another opportunity. I got another chance to get it right. I got another chance to be a better husband to my wife. I got another chance to be a better father to my, to, to my children. But that old Everson, that old dog. Oh, when he see you got a little piece of your life. Oh, he has a tendency to want to stick it, not just stick his head up. Every, every now and then he'll, he, he'll pull in your driveway. He'll bring the doorbell in. And you don't just got to let him in. He'll just come on in. Job said, they asked him. And Job said, where you going? I'm just going to it from. It don't matter where I end up at. It don't matter who I try to destroy. But just give it to somebody. And that's what the devil does. I just come by to tell you what Jesus said. If you had your Bibles open in verse 18, it says, the world hates you. You know that it's hated me before it hated you. You know, I I look in the mirror every now and then and I have my arm low enough, I pat myself on the back. You know, and say, you know what, Troy? I don't see how people don't like you. All right. I know. I, 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 I can somebody not be upset. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But we need a few haters in our lives. All right. I know I've said this before, but I, you know, I, I, I need to just write this on my refrigerator. TDJ say, say, if your haters let you know what level you really are, right. you need some haters in your life to, to level you off every now and then so you don't get the big head about yourself. Because they hated our Lord Savior. And they hated the man that never sinned, the man that never did anything. But love, love one another. What do you think they're going to do to us? What you think they're going to do to us? And if you read your Bible, they tell me if it's in red, that's, how, that's, how, that's Jesus speaking. Speaking directly to us. If the world hate you, you know that it has hated me before. It hated you. Oh, uh, boy, that, I, I, I tell you, that's, that, that, that's one that you can just ponder in your heart. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. I'm glad that he didn't allow me to die in my sin. It was just one Friday night. I was going to a revival. I knew how it went in, but God knows I didn't know how it was going to come out. Oh, it was one Friday night. And, 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 and Jesus came to me. He knocked on the door. And, 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 and he bust the door down. He just jumped in the Just jumped in the And I was a changed man. Oh, I was a changed man. He, 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 he knew I was of the world. But he knew I had to come out of the world. He knew I was of the world, but he knew I had to come out of, of this world. Don't let, don't let, don't let, don't, don't get caught with your work undone. Don't get caught with your work undone. The word hate is the root of the two verses. You know, I have to give Pastor when you say I hate something, you know that's a word that I really truly not. I truly don't. I, that's a word that I truly try not to use. That's what right, I'm, right. I'm truly. I, I truly not try to use the word hate. 
Because I went to the dictionary and it says that you dislike something wow. with passion. Yeah. Yeah. When you say you hate something, you dislike it with passion. And it's, and it's, it's no help that you may that you may like that individual or like that situation that there's no help that, that, that you dislike that with passion. There's no help for you. 2 Corinthians 5 and 19 say God was in Christ reconciling the world himself not counting their trespasses against them ready for reconciliation. You know, I'm, I'm glad that he don't have no talent of my sins. I was told that he would take your sins and throw them from as far as the east to the west. You know, I was doing some football on yesterday and, I, and, 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 and just some odd reason I was doing uh, the association of Sweetwater and they, they got a knack of getting football players that, that, that are amazing to watch. Yeah. Yeah. And this particular quarterback, I tell you, he was taking that football and, and, and that deep out route, well, that's the hardest throw to, the throw to make, if you know anything about quarterback. But, but, but he was just taking that ball and just throwing that deep out. And then, you know, I said, yeah, man, that's how Jesus do with my sin. That's how he take my sin. And he, he throw that deep out. He might be in Miami, and then it's going to pass over California. That's how he does my sin. And, 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 and he justifies us. And he, 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 he calls us his own. He calls us his own. He justifies us. He, he, he makes it like we ain't never did it be, be before. But, but if you just repent from your sin, that's the key. We got to repent from our sins. We got to repent from our sins. Ready for a reconciliation. I tell you, when we read that church covenant, boy, I tell you, I, I, reconciliation. And it says, secure it without delay. Wow. Secure it without delay. And we have read, I've, I've read that millions of times. But when it says, secure it without, with, without delay, when, when you're in an arm with your brother or your sister, don't, 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 don't wait till next Friday come. You got to reconciliate that thing right now. Without delay. Come on, come on. Secure it without delay. Yo, you got to get that thing. You got you got to get it right with your brother. You know you and, 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 and you know say how can you love your brother or your sister? Uh, how can you love me that you never seen? And we see our sister and our brothers each and every day, and we don't love one another. That's a lot of our problems that we're going through in this day and time. We don't love. We don't love one another. We don't love like we used to. Like we used to. As a people, we used to get together and, and, and this family was fed, this family was fed. We got together. It was all one big, one family. But those days are far past and gone. 20 says, remember the word that I said unto you. The servant is not greater than the Lord. If they have present, if they have persecuted you, they will also persecute you. They will also persecute you. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sins, they will keep yours also. But all these things they do unto you for my name's sake. Because they know not him that sent me. Amen. 
Wild and Life Posters. Intimacy and fellowship with God will suffer. At times, our relationship with him can never change. When we receive Jesus Christ as our Savior, he become God, we become God's children, and he becomes our Father. We cannot change our relationship with God any more than we can change our relationship with our earthly father. Right. That's one thing we cannot do. Yeah. We can't pick our parents. Right. But we can pick our father. Yeah. We can pick our father. Yeah. And, all the, and the only thing we got to do to pick our father is believe in our heart yeah. that he was raised from the dead. Confess with your mouth that, that, that he was raised from the dead. We shall. Not we, we, we it, it's a possibility. We shall be saved. That's all we got to do. That's all we got to do. Believe in our heart. Confess with our mouth. Beulah, I just come by to tell you what Jesus said. As I go to my seat, I don't know why they treated him so bad. He was not guilty of in insurgent. He was not rebellious against any authority. Oh, but they marched him from judgment hall to judgment hall. He was only guilty of opening blind eyes. He was only guilty. He was only guilty of multiplying fish and loaves and feeding the multitude. And as I ask the question, why are you treating my Lord in this fashion? I heard the prophet Isaiah rumbling from 700 years of prophecy. Out of the 53rd book saying he was being beaten for our transgression.